Okay, so in this first chapter, we're going to discuss about the basic definitions and terminologies. Okay, what are the basic uh, terminologies that we're going to use in differential equation? Okay, and then we're going to proceed with types of first order ordinary differential equation. And how can we solve the ordinary differential equation? Okay, so in differential equation, We're going to have ordinary and partial. Ordinary differential equation, okay, or we can call it ODE, and partial differential equation, we call it as PDE. So in ordinary differential equation, we have also first order, second order, and so on. So we have how many types of first order here we have? How many types of it? Separable, homogeneous, exact, linear, and also Bernoulli. So you're going to study these five types of ordinary differential equation in your first order. We have what? We have separable. We have homogeneous. We have exact. We have linear, we have Bernoulli, okay? And then in second order, let's proceed it with uh, in our second chapter later on. And then this partial differential equation, this one is in chapter 5. So this is chapter 1, this is chapter 2, chapter 3, we have Laplace transform, chapter 4, we have Fourier series, chapter 5, we have PD, okay? So these are the basic idea of what you are going to learn about differential equation overall okay we have differential equation how many types ordinary partial what are the types of ordinary first and second so we have conclude we have uh, summarized this in chapter one for first order chapter two in second order this one is for transformation you need to learn this transformation first before we can process about the so that's why the sequence. Okay, now what are basic definitions and terminologies that you're going to learn about this differential equation? Okay, so let's start. Okay, just like I mentioned earlier, of course, you have to know what is differential equation. Okay, differential equation is any equation which contains derivative either ordinary or partial you know that we have ordinary and partial okay so either it is ordinary or partial as long as it consists of differential when it is derivative then we call it as a differential equation so what are the ordinary differential equations okay so what are the ordinary differential equations what is ODE here ODE contains one or more dependent variables with respect to one independent variables. Okay, what are dependent and independent variables? Anyone? As you can see from the example here, we have dy dx equals to 2x plus 3. We have d squared y dx squared plus 3 dy dx plus a y equals to 0. We have d cubed y over dx cubed plus dy dx to the power of 4 plus 6y equals to 3. So these are the examples of what? The example of differential equation. Okay. And then how can we know that this differential equation are ordinary or not? Okay. So in order to know they are ordinary or not, you need to understand first what are the meanings of 
dependent or independent variables. Okay, now let's see. Why is the dependent, which depends on one independent variable? As you can see here, dy dx means that y depends on x. So y is dependent and x is independent. Okay, same to this one. Same to this one. But now, how can we check whether this is ordinary or not? Ordinary contains one or more dependent variables with respect to one independent variable. Okay? We have y and x. One dependent, y only. One independent, x only. So these are all ordinary differential equation, actually. These are all ordinary differential equation because we just have only one dependent variables, but you can have more. But, but for this example, you have one dependent variables and one independent variables. Understand or not? Okay, so as I can, uh, as I picture you here, we have ordinary, we have partial. Okay, but that ordinary can either be first and second. But for this case, we have dy dx, we have d square y, we have d cube y. So how can we identify which one is first order, which one is second order? Okay, now you understand what is ordinary differential equation. What is dependent variable? What is independent variable? So now, how can we identify the order? Okay, so now, the order of differential equation is determined by the highest derivative. So now, dy dx is your derivative. The highest derivative here is only dy dx where the power is 1. So this is first order ordinary differential equation. You know that this is ordinary because we have 1 dependent and 1 independent. You know that this is first order because you have only d to the power of 1 here. So, highest derivative of dy dx only have uh, degree 1. So, for this case, the highest derivative here is d squared y. So, the derivative is, uh, the order is 2. This is second order ordinary. So, now, let's take a look at this. What is the highest derivative for this example? To, def uh, to determine its order. Yes, okay. This is derivative. But the degree of this derivative is only 1. So the highest derivative is d cubed y. So, since this is the highest, then the order is determined by the highest. So we have order 3, third order of differential, ordinary differential equation. So you know that what is ordinary differential equation. Now you can identify what is your first and what is your second order. And what is your third and what is your fourth order. Okay, good. So now that is ordinary differential equation. One variable, uh, one dependent, one independent, and then you can identify the order. Okay, now what is partial derivative? What is partial differential equation? PDE. So now this PDE involves one or more dependent variables. And two or more independent variables. So if for ODE, we have to have only one independent. But in PDE, we need to have two or more independent. But four dependent are same, one or more. 
same with the ordinary differential uh, equation, one or more. Right? So how can we describe this partial differential equation? As you can see from this example, we have d squared u over dx squared plus d squared u over dy squared. You know that this is independent. So how many independent variables we have? Two. We have one, in the, one dependent variable. So one dependent, two independent, which give you this is partial. Clear not? So as you can see, there is the difference. You have to differentiate what are the ordinary and what are the partial differential equations. So the difference is about the independent variables. How many independent variables are there in the differential equation to determine whether it, it is ordinary or it is partial? Is there anyone who have question? Very easy, right? Okay, good. So now, we have here d to the power of del 4u over del x to the power of 4 plus del to the power of 4u over del t to the power of 4. So you have x, you have t, 2, the independent, but you only have one dependent. You have x and t here, 2 independent. So these three examples give you partial differential equation. All right. So can you determine which one is dependent and which one is independent? So for this case, we have del W over del X plus del W over del T equals to zero. Can you differentiate now what are dependent and what are independent variables? Okay, what is the dependent variable here? All right. And independent x and t, which give you what is the type of this differential equation? PDE. Okay, good. And then this one. Anyone want to try? Dependent you independent x and y okay same right it's just a three coefficient there. same same with the previous one you have u x and y will which yield u to also pd okay so these are the basic terminologies that you need to understand dependent independent ordinary partial uh, order Right. Okay, we have done with the order. Now, degree of differential equation. What are the degree of the differential equation? The degree is the exponent of the highest derivative. Okay, so what is the highest derivative here? The, we have dy dx. We have d squared y dx squared. So what is the highest derivative? Come on. D square y dx square. Okay. 2 is not the highest derivative. 2 is the order. You know that this is second order. But the highest derivative is d squared y over dx squared. So the, uh, the exponent. The exponent of the highest derivative is? 1. That's why the degree of this de is 1. Can you differentiate between degree and order here?
Understand? Okay, let's try second example. What is the highest derivative for this example? The highest derivative is d cube y. Okay, it is not 3. We have d cube y over dx cube. This is the highest derivative where the degree or the exponent here equals to what? What is the degree of this example? Okay, also one. We, what is the order of this example? This one, order. What is the order for this example? Two. Okay, order two. Degree one. This one order three. Three degree one. Okay, what about this one? The highest derivative is the order. So what is the order here? The highest derivative is two. Two, where the degree is three. Okay, three. In order to determine the degree, you need to check what is the highest one, which is here, and check the exponent, which is 3. So that is the degree. That is how can you identify what is the order and what is the degree of differential equation. All right. Okay. More examples. Let's try this one. The first example here, we have what? What is the order? What is the degree then? Okay, the first one. Okay, anyone want to try? This lesson is science. first order and degree. second degree. Okay, good. First order and second degree. Okay, second one. Second order and first degree. Second order, first degree. Okay, good. The third one. Second order and first degree too. Right. Second order and first degree. All right. The last one we have here. Third order and fourth degree. Okay, good. So now you can understand the order. So what we have learned up until now, you have, now you know what is differential equation. What is ordinary? In order to determine the ordinary, you have to know dependent and independent. After that, you check the order. Now you know the uh, degree. So these are all basic terminologies and definition that you need to know before we can find the solution of this differential equation. Okay, next. What is the next topic? Okay, linearity of differential equation. Linear differential equation. Okay. Dependent variables and their derivative are of degree 1. Each coefficient of the derivative depends only on the independent variable. Each coefficient of the derivative depends only on the independent variable. Okay, 
aspects try to understand the linearity first here in differential equation. Dependent variables and their derivative are of degree one. So let's take a look at this first example. We have dependent variable is y. So dependent variables and their derivative are of degree one. So y is one to the power of one here, right? And degree of this one is one. Degree of this one is one. Okay, then each coefficient, sorry. Each coefficient of the derivative depends only on the independent variable. Okay, each coefficient of the derivative. So derivative, this, this, uh, this squared y, dy here depends on dx. Depends on dx. So it is linear. Understand or not? Any question for this part? Uh, that time, sorry, but I don't quite understand. Okay. Okay. First, you need to check the dependent variable. What is the dependent variable of this differential equation? which is y, right? And the are derivative. So this is derivative of y. Uh, degree 1. So this is degree 1, okay? And each coefficient of the derivative, this one is the derivative, depends only on the independent variable. Depends on independent variable. So this is linear. Understand or not? Okay, let's take a look at the second one. Why it is non-linear? Dependent and their derivative. This is dependent variable and this is their derivative are uh, degree one. This is degree one. This is also degree one, but this one is degree four. So it is not linear because the derivative dy dx is not of degree one. First item is out. So no need to check the second one. Clear or not? Oh, so doctor, uh, all the all the derivatives must be in the same degree. Yes, the dependent and the other derivative are degree one. Then we call it as a linear. Okay, doctor. Okay, you can see the difference between the first example and second example here, right? Okay, then the third one. Why it is non-linear? If we check the definition here, why it is non-linear?
Anyone want to try? Why this one is also nonlinear? No? You don't know? Come on, guys. No one? All right. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't know, you can just say don't know. Okay. No problem. So, for this case, why it is nonlinear, as you can see, dependent variables and their derivative are of degree 1. You cannot identify, right? Because they are together. You cannot identify the degree here. Okay? But... As you can see, of course, it is degree one. Okay, the one, of course, the first item. And then the second item, each coefficient of the derivative depends only on the independent. So the coefficient for this one, let's say we have coefficient constant, depends on the x. Depends on the x. But here we have another variable of x which is which is same with the independent variable so this is x this x square here is the coefficient of this del square y del x square and this coefficient is not depends only on the independent variables because it stands alone here it is not depends on this okay so we cannot uh, conclude that this is linear because first, this y and dy are together even though they are degree 1. All right. Second, the coefficient of the derivative is not depends on the independent variable here. Okay. But we have to have the coefficient to depends only on the independent. So this cannot be linear. Uh, all right, the next one. Why this is non-linear? Because, of course, you know that sine is a trigonometric. It is not a linear form. Okay? Because the degree itself is not for y. It is for sine y. So, 
This is non-linear. And then the last one is same with the previous example. We have here degree 1, we have here degree 1, we have here degree 1, then this one is also degree 1. But there is another variable which are the coefficient of the derivative which is not depends only on the independent variable. So this is non-linear. Okay, so you need to understand the linearity of differential equation here. Okay, that is the next item. The linearity. Okay, and then other than that, they are all non-linear. Other than what? Other than this item. Dependent variable and their derivative are of degree 1. And each coefficient of the derivative depends only on the independent variable. Okay, so next about condition. You know that in differential equation, you have to know the dependent, independent, order, degree, linearity. Of course, in order to solve the differential equation, after you identify all of these items, you have to have the condition in order to solve it. So there are two types of condition, initially and boundary. So we have condition, which are initial and boundary. So initial boundary, initial uh, condition will be given on a specific given point. Boundary condition will be given on some points. Okay, what are the difference? Okay, example. Example, this is initial condition. Okay, will be given on specific given points. So the points are given at zero. But we have only one initial condition. So in order to identify the solution, you just have to have y and y prime. Okay, but for boundary condition, we have condition on some points. So we have two points, one and two, and the condition is on Y. Can you see the difference? For initial, we have only one point, same uh, initial point, but different function, function Y, function Y prime. This one, different initial point on same function of y. Okay, so once you identify what are the initial conditions and boundary conditions, you can apply in initial value problems and also boundary value problems. So this is the example of differential equation where the conditions are given. So this is differential equation. Okay, this is differential equation with the second order and degree one. And it is non-linear with an initial condition y0 and y prime zero. Just to one. Okay. And we can call this as initial value problem because the initial point there. All right. And then this is same process. Uh, differential equation are given and the condition are given from 0 to 1 with the same usage of same function. So this is what we call boundary value problem. So these are just uh, types of uh, differential equation where it depends on the conditions given. Is that clear? Clear, everyone? Anyone has question? Oh, 
part of the okay so that's it for terminologies and definition some terminologies and definition for differential equation after this we're going to proceed what are first order we have uh we have already know how can we uh define the order the degree the linearity so now let's proceed one by one what can we do to find the solution of first order here okay these are the types of first order right so what are the lessons for today so this is the lessons for today we have done with differential equation how many types of differential equation ordinary and partial so in ordinary and partial here what you need to understand is uh, what you need to understand are the dependent independent order degree linearity and condition after this we go one by one for first order second order third order fourth order and about the linearity how can we solve within the condition given and so on is that clear Anyone has questions before we stop? I think that's all for today. No, uh, we cannot proceed with the next topic because we have to have two hours of lecture for that. Uh, doctor? Yes? Uh, I have a question uh, for the previous differential equations just now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, why it will be non-linear? Which one? Uh, this one. This one? Uh, why it will be non-linear? Oh, sorry. This is linear because sine x is stand alone. This is not coefficient. Okay, okay. So, thank you. This is linear. The coefficient. Okay. The coefficient here depends only on independent. There is no x for the coefficient. Different with the previous example. We have x there. Right, we have X there. Thank you. Okay. Good question. Thank you. All right. So before we stop, um, I'm just going to give you the link here so that we can, so that I can collect the your self-introduction for my future reference. So just fill in your info in the link given here. I just give you the link in the chat box. So you just can follow what everybody's doing here. This is just for my record, okay? This, this is me, just greet everyone, just explain a brief uh, introduction about yourself, and that's it, okay? This is for my introduction session. Okay, can you can you do it? Sure, yeah, doctor. All right. Okay. So this is for introduction, and then if you have no more question, so don't forget to scan the attendance here, and then you may leave the class. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum, and good afternoon. Okay. Okay, don't forget to scan the attendance. Oh, you cannot scan. I have I had some problems with the previous class before. Can you scan it? Cannot, eh? Uh, if cannot, why don't you? If cannot, why don't you put the attendance here? Can you can you fill in the Excel file here? Just if you attend. Uh, just write down a pen like that okay can you use the same link that i have given you 
Okay. That's the only way. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. All right, you may leave the class now. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. 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 Thank you, Doctor.